In this lecture, we want to deploy our ERC20 token on the Ethereum test network. As I've mentioned in the previous lecture, we are going to be deploying the Binance token. The Binance token is already deployed on the main, on the main, main network, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to use the contract deployed on the main network because that would have to cost us to use Reuter to interact with it. So, one of the properties of blockchain that we said is it is open. So if we go to Ether Explorer right now, we are going to see the actual code base of the Binance token. It's actually really simple. So let's go to Ether Explorer, ETH Explorer, and then we will now deploy the same version of the BNB token on the test network and then interact with it. So if we go to etherscan.io, search for the BNB token, that's Binance token. That's the price 36. This is the contract address. And if we come to this tab, contract, yeah, here's the source code. So just copy the source code. Copy the source code to clipboard. Copy it. Remember, we have our remix, which is the ID for, for writing smart contracts. Create a new file, bmb.sol, and paste it here. Trying to adjust this, okay? Yeah. Just scroll down and comment this out. This might be trying and I'll just scroll down and comment it out. You see, it's pretty simple. So imagine that this is the contract, this is a smart contract that was deployed for all BNB tokens. So let me show you. You notice we have see there is six billion US dollar worth of BNB right here. And if I go back yeah, you would notice this is master total supply that's available right now. This is fully deleted market cap. This is price of each. If I come to contracts, I can interact with the contract right here. Let's see. Write to contracts. Approve. So you, you also see it saying connect to Web3. You can actually connect to Metamax using this button in and then call some function. If you have BNB in our wallet, you go down freeze, transfer, freeze, transfer from. Let's say this is the total supply of BNB right now. So to think that this is just a small piece of code controlling all this is really wonderful. You would say we have um, SafeMath. SafeMath is a library to, to prevent overflow and underflow when performing mathematical expression. This is a very old version of Solidity actually. This is 0 0.4. In 0 0.8, there is no need for, I think, from what I think, there is no, there is no need for safe maths. We, we can actually perform mathematical calculation safely without the fear of underflow and overflow. Right, so let's get to it. Come here, let's change this to 0. Point. So this supports from 0. 0.48 upward until before 0. 0.5. So they should do compile. Warning deprecated. These are all warnings actually, and that's because this is a very old version of Solidity. Let me see we choose a different version, maybe to enjoy the warning. But this would this this is, is actually compiled. If it's not compiled, it's intro warning to just draw error.
same thing anyways let's move on now that we have compiled this click on compile details and come to abi this abi is going to be needed we're going to name abi then copy it to clipboard and paste it somewhere here all right i will just go ahead and paste it in the project let me show you paste somewhere else. In my own case, I'll just go and paste it here in the code base. Or if you downloaded the full code base already, simply open up the checkouts.js and replace the BNB API that is there with your own BNB API. Right. So Once you do that, we move on to here. Now we want to deploy it. Instead of, we've been deploying the previous one that we deployed, we've been deploy, deploying it on the JavaScript VM. But now we want to deploy it on Covan using MetaMask Wallet. So we will choose Injected Web3. Next, connects. So Metamax is now connected to our remains ID. So you see this is the address of the wallet 00x0f8. Zero, zero zero see 0x0f8. Zero zero That's the address. That's the address that we deployed. Right. So the constructor for BMB take some value which is okay what will be the initial supply what will be the token name decimal units token symbol we could we could get that from from here it says um total supply is this you could just copy this and use or you could enter whatever value that you want it to be total supply is this Let's check our code base. We assign the initial supply as total supply, token name as the name, symbol, decimals. Let's say initial supply. Let's not use that. Let's just say we want it to be how many? One, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right. Token name, Binance. We can name it Binance demo. We can name it whatever I want, but let's just leave it as Binance token. I give you whatever name you want. Unit 18, decimal unit 18, and token symbol PNV. Then click on transact. Why is Metamax slowing down? Let me close this. Let me try this again. Token name is token name moments. Let's see. CCTH. Transact. All right. Yeah. So you would say this is the gas fee it's going to cost us to deploy this contract on a test network. Govan test network. If we want the mainnet, that means we would have to spend reuter. And that's not needed. We could just test it on the test network and see how it works. So gas gas price is this, gas limit is this. You could adjust this if you want, but then default will work. Confirm. So we can click on this to monitor. The transaction on the task can. Come back here. Oh, I think it's done. Activities, contract deployments. Nouns, gas used. 
transaction confirmed. Let's check this out. The transaction hash has been confirmed. Transaction hash from this is our address to the constructor we called hash decoded inputs, decoded outputs, none value. Now this is taking much time. Here on it is come. Is a transaction hash. I'll pause the video for a moment to allow this load. All right, so I'm back. I don't know why it's not loading, but we can continue with other part of the lecture and wait for it to come up. I think there must be an issue with Covan test network, like we we're trying to do on the previous lecture, or we trying to request for it. The other page was not loading too. But we can go ahead. Right, so if you look at this side, since the contract has been deployed, we already copied the ABI. Now, if you look at this side, you would see we copy to clipboard to copy the contract address. So that is the public address to which the contract was deployed. And you look at all these function from these contracts. We can call them approve, born, freeze, transfer, transfer from or freeze. Allowance balance of decimal. Yes, decimal 18 that will pass, name that will pass, owner that this is our address. So, by default, according to this contract, by default, the old token, the old token by default is up, is given to the, the contract creator, it's assigned to the contract, contract creator. You see that in, in a moment. So, you see, balance of message your sender is initial supply. The old token, give the creator our initial token. Update that supply, set name of display, set the symbol, amount of decimal. So since you are the creator, right, the old token would have been assigned to you. So click on your MetaMax right here, click on add token, custom token, then paste the contract address that you copied. See, so it says BNB and it's in, it may recognize it. Click on next, BNB, and click on add token. So 0 0.01. the total token and that is because we did this if we, if we wanted if we wanted 1 billion supply we are supposed to do 1 billion multiplied by the decimal limit 18 right that was what we are supposed to do so we are going to redeploy this contract again and correct that mistake it's a good thing to see that you made a mistake so you learn from it so let's come back here go here delete this off now one thing you need to notice in as much as we do not change anything in the contract the ABI will always be the same thing the ABI will always be the same thing we don't need to recopy the ABI once we recompile the ABI will always be the same thing the ABI is just like a signature of all the function and all the um, all the function, all the structs, all the definition of the contract. So it doesn't change. Nothing that we do not change anything, it does not change. So all we can do is come back here and click on compile BNB. Right. Come back here. And then we're going to redeploy. So in this case, I'll simply just copy this DOS of it. Makes it easier. We shall supply this token name, Venus token, 
Decima it's in token symbol BNB transact. Okay. Confirm. Notice notification will pop up now from MetaMask to tell us if our transaction has been confirmed. Let me clear this one up. See, the transaction has been confirmed here. And it has been deployed to this address. So in this case, if I come here, We we'll have to delete off this token by the way. So let's just hide it off. Hide. Add token now. Custom token. Copy the contract address. BNB. We have it. Click on next. See, that's it now. So, Paula. As a creator of this contract and as a creator of this token, the total supply of the token has been applied to us. Total, su the total supply has been assigned to to us. So you also see the same thing, right? So now, so just just so to say that we can send this token between addresses. Um, let me open up my. That was my Mozilla. This is my own Chrome. Open this up now. My cover network. I would also add the same token, custom token here too. So my MetaMask will recognize it. Next. See, I have zero BNB. Right. Add tokens. Then I come over here, I copy my wallet address back here. I can also try the same thing. So I click on BNB, I click on send, I enter the address from there and then I want to send under BNB. This is gas price, this is gas limit. Click on next, confirm transaction. Spending. Sent. Go to activity C. Under BNB was sent. Go back here. Log into my house. See, now I have on a BNB. Voila. I have an Airbnb here because we are on the same Covan test network and then that was where the smart contract was deployed on the BNB. So now that we have been able to deploy our BNB token on the Ethereum Covan test network, the next lecture we would be interacting with the smart contract. See you in the next lecture.